Hey, bonjour, Frédéric. Bonjour. Okay, let us know where you're from. Well, I'm, I'm French and uh, I'm, I came for the British Museum Heritage here with my Jaguar, an XJC Coupe from 1976, because this year we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Coupe. And I drove 800 kilometers overnight just to come and be here with my friends, with those two XJ. We came. This one is a 5.3 liter V12. Mine is a straight six, 4.2 liter. And it's a beautiful car to drive. And it's really part of the uh, nicest Berlin, but in a coupe style because it's only a two-door, which is a very rare model. And, and, and it's a super driving to uh, continue with uh, cruising. As you can see, the wood dashboard and uh, uh, everything is, is, is in style with uh, the, uh, the pace of uh, Jaguar, as has always been uh, the, the case. And Frederick, what, what color would you class for color of the car? So this one is a dark blue. It's a dark blue, uh, very, very well known. Uh, there are also the squadron blue, which is a bit lighter, but this one is a, is a dark blue. And, and it uh, fits very well with the vinyl roof, which is something which is very rare, but it was done only for the coupe. Uh, and this one has got the uh, option of having a Webasto sunroof, which has been fitted only on some models. This one has been converted to electric, but it was originally fitted manual. And as you can see, the interior is all leather, uh, all around, and, and it's really a, a cruising vehicle you can enjoy. I did yesterday, so 800 kilometers just to come, and it's really, a, it's really a dream. Like it's like on a, you're on a flying carpet. You know? Wow, Frederic, the the interior is the all original leather. Yes, absolutely. This one is ivory white, and, and, and you can see uh, also the uh, the wood inside, uh, which is uh, all all original. Original and, and it's uh, uh, the gearbox. This one is an automatic. Yes. Uh, you have some models which were the uh, manual. The the car next door from my friend is a manual one. Uh, but me, I love to be in a Jaguar and to be in a, in a, in a sofa. So that's why I've bought the uh, automatic car. So the manual and the automatic, was the manual rarer or was the automatic rarer? The, uh, the manual is rarer, actually. So how many did they make of this car, do you know? In total, uh, Jaguar built only 10,000 XJ Coupe only 10,000 and probably on the uh, left hand side like this one very few probably 2,000 at that time which means there are a few hundreds left around the world only dr being driven Incredible. at the moment so it's really a, a piece of art and a piece of history and that's why being here today for the 50th anniversary makes a difference to show the heritage and that those cars are still worth it so where, where did the car originally come from? Who so this did you car, buy it from? From Switzerland. This car has been initially exported from uh, Coventry to six, uh, Switzerland in 1976. <laughs> when and it was I, made? When it was made. And I've got the whole history of the car wow. uh, with all the owners from, uh, from that time, with the first event when they attended the, the Jaguar event back in 1980s uh, up to now. So in 1976, somebody had a lot of money to buy a coupe. So they were obviously quite wealthy. Um, that's yeah. in Switzerland. Yes, it? indeed. And at that time, it was the, it was the all the options to have the uh, uh, automatic uh, gearbox, the, the lever inside. There was something that uh, the guys were paying on top with the sunroof. Uh, so it was really the, the all the options possible. Yes, and then you could buy, of course, after the 5.3 liter, which is a, a different engine, a bit more complex. But the the, the four the straight six 4.2 is is fantastic to drive. It's really uh, the smoothest That's, escape. So do you the steering wheel was that the original? No, wheel? no. The original steering wheel is uh, is black with a lever. This one is uh, 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 another one, uh, a lardi. Uh, <laughs> uh, and 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 this one is also nice because it's in wood, so it fits very well the the dashboard. It's beautiful. I, I really like the, the choice of a steering wheel with wood. So you mentioned to me earlier you've got quite a few Jags or a few. Yes. Of them. What, 
So you've got this, what else have you got? Yeah, I have uh, also a Mark II 19, from 1962, which I have had for 25 years, uh, which uh, is also extremely uh, uh, rare because it was ordered at that time in green Sherwood with uh, uh, already at that time the uh, power steering, uh, wire wheels, uh, overdrive kick down. Uh, it was, uh, it's a fantastic car which I've been driving for the past 25 years. Oh, wow. So this one is my second car and I have also an Austin Ely from 1965 which is the ice blue ivory white beton car which uh, is also very nice to have as a uh, roadster. So Frederick, just tell viewers how do you store the car? Is it in the in a warehouse or a garage? Uh, I have some, uh, I'm renting some box, some private boxes in Paris uh, uh, because you can't leave it in the road or a uh, part uh, 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 an open parking because unfortunately uh, you, it would not be safe and unfortunately it could be uh, damaged very easily. And I think also by storing it in a storage box you don't get the sun damage the Correct. ultraviolet light on the paint and the leather and that's why it's in pristine yes. condition as we're looking at it. Absolutely true because it's been uh, well cared for uh, then you can keep it much longer and uh, if you have a good owner then you have uh, a car that will last much longer. Frederick can we just talk about the wheels and the brakes? Yes. What tyres do you prefer putting on the car? Well the, the, this uh, car is equipped with a disc brake all around and you have different types of, of tyres normally the uh, original tyres is the Pirelli P2000 uh, I think uh, fitted on this car which uh, works very well mine I have had to change them because uh, they were a bit old it's not always easy to find those Pirelli but you can find some uh, tires now quite easily on those uh, uh, XJ as well and you find the braking is it very very confident well it, it's a good brake but you need you you need to know that for all classic cars you need to take more distance you have to be very more careful with the guy in front of you because you don't absolutely stop at the same pace mm. so it's it's driving with care that makes a difference and Frederick I imagine you have a lot of people taking photographs of your car while you are driving it, it, it uh, it's it's ending funny because it's it's really an eye-catcher uh, and people look at it and say, oh very nice so yes it's true